Alright guys, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyeshadow primer and I'm using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Primer and I'm applying that on my lid and under my lash line. This is going to ensure that you won't have any creasing of your shadows throughout the day. The first shadow I'm going to use is a Stelazi Matte Eyeshadow in the shade MS47. I love these shadows because they're so huge, they're the size of the Makeup Forever shadow so it's really awesome especially for the price. And this shade is like a terracotta orangey brick shade. I'm just using a tapered blending brush to apply this into the crease using windshield wiper motions. And then I'm also going to drag this along my lower lash line a bit. Now going into my eyelid shade. I'm using the ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Bay, which is this really pretty um, purpley toned shadow with blue multi-flex glitter on top very pretty and the best way to apply these color pop shadows are with your finger because it just applies better I don't know why but it does and I'm using a fluffy brush to blend out that shade now going into another Stelazi matte shadow this is in the shade MS 16 I'm using this tapered blending brush to apply it in the outer V using windshield wiper motions and just focusing it up into the crease now you can stop here, but for myself, I love to add extra glitter. So I'm just adding a little bit of this blue sparkly dust as a topper on my eyelid shade to add extra glitter, extra oomph to this look. And I'm just using a Q-tip to apply it because I find that Q-tips are good at applying glitter. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend out, um, adding a little bit more of that eggplanty shade into the crease. Now using a pencil brush, I'm going in with the shade that I used as my transition color earlier and I'm applying that um, concentrated um, in the lower lash line. Now I'm going to use this kind of, it's like these weird q-tips, they're like the ones that have a pointed tip and they have like a flat end, they're, you can get them at Target. Anyways, I'm using that to apply Bay on the lower lash line and I found that these q-tips um, really work with applying these cream to powder shadows from ColourPop really well and I'm just going to take a brown liner and apply that close close to my lash line um, and next I'm taking another Stelazi shadow this is MS17 this is more of like a butter cup cream shade it's really pretty and I'm just going to use this shade as my highlight color For my eyeliner, I'm going to use this Inglot Gel Liner in number 77. And just using small connecting motions, I'm going to wing out my eye. Next, I'm going to focus on highlighting the inner tear duct and I'm using this NYX Baked Eyeshadow in Ambrosia and using my finger, my little pinky finger, I'm going to apply this directly in that inner tear duct and this is just going to add some extra brightness to this look and really make my eyes pop and look shimmery and pretty. Next, I'm going to use this Coastal Sense Single Shadow in Flesh Tone and apply this also with my pinky in the inner tear duct. And now to add extra, extra bling, I'm using this Ben Nye Lumiere powder in ice gold. And this is going to add like an extra glow to that inner tear duct. Now I'm using the Terra Tarantino mascara.
very pretty, very sparkly. I love this look for going out to parties. So cute. So now I'm using this really cute highlighter. It's actually from Forever 21. I'll leave the link down below for you guys because it's so pretty. I swear it's a dupe for the Becca Opal highlighters. Yeah, a dupe for Becca Opals, guys. Yes. So I'm just using a fan brush to apply this highlighter to the tops of my cheekbones. You see it adds this really beautiful golden glow to my skin. And you're going to look so pretty at nighttime, especially in pictures. You can look like a glowy, beautiful dancing disco ball. So for my lips, the clip somehow got deleted. So I went ahead and listed the items and products that I used. And there you go. Have it, guys. That is the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And... I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe.